and welcome to day two of my vlogmas for this 2019. Today I want to make a video which I saw a lot of people made in the past but you, know, you don't know me so I think it, this is a way to get to know each other better too. This wasn't very hard to choose at all. Uh, I've always known what my favorite Christmas movie is and what my favorite Christmas movies are. So that was really that was a really a problem to list them. So I want to start with the fifth position. A lot of you might not agree with me, but I would put at the fifth at fifth place the elf. The elf. Um, it's a really funny movie, I have to say that, but um, I'm more for the movies, you know, that move you, the movies that can create some emotions, and I'm not saying the, the elf doesn't, but um, I just think it's too funny for me. I don't like, I don't really like uh, funny movies, I just like some of them, but they are not my favorite. That's why the elf is in fifth place, actually. Then I think I would, at fourth place, I would say there is a um, miracle on the 34th Street. This movie, I remember watching it as a kid, and um, of course, I watched all of these movies several times. Uh, but. Um, this one moved me a lot. When there are little kids, you know, uh, it's always something that comes to uh, tears, that brings you to tears. So, of course, this is one of them. And, of course, if you haven't watched it, I suggest you to, to do so with a lot of chocolate and um, Christmas sweets because I think it'll make, you, it'll make you cry a little bit. In third place, we find Jack Frost. At first, I didn't want to put it. I, I didn't want to put this movie into the list because um, it's a sad movie. I think everyone saw it, but if there's someone that um, that didn't, I don't want to. I don't want to like um, give out any spoilers. Um, the first part of the movie is really, really, really sad. That's why I thought maybe it's, maybe it would be better not to put this in a Christmas movie list. But um, at the end, you can see that this movie uh, shows you how the people that are not with us anymore can still be in our life, and it's really funny and it's. It's magical too. You know, everyone likes a little bit of magic uh, in during Christmas time. Every movie that I put into this list actually has magic in it. So I think that's the best, the best part of Christmas movies, of course, and not only for the kids, but for the grown-ups too. You know, or at least that's what I think. And Jack Frost, it's a movie that makes you cry, it makes you understand the importance of uh, family, and uh, I don't know, it's really, it's really cute at the end. Second place, I know that I've just said that I don't like funny movies, but I think I've watched this, I watched this growing up so many times that it's impossible to... Um, not to put in a second place and it's home alone everyone saw it everyone knows the lines and everyone is as a kid i was really really into this little guy that was alone at his age and that you know just fought the thieves it was it was really 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 funny there's no like big magical theme in it there is nothing and it's absurd that a mother can forget his son <laughs> at home but it's that is the the funniest part 
The funniest part is that this guy, uh, this kid, going around in his house doing his own things and ordering pizza and ordering things, uh, watching the TV and be smart enough to, <laughs> you know, to overcome this problem and to live alone. So this is, this is really funny. It's one of the movies that I like to watch the most during Christmas time. And... Um, um, even if it's funny, and I don't like funny movies, as I said. Plus, you know, uh, America uh, with snow in winter, it's a really, it's really one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things, one of the things that I wish I could just take a plane and go out to see, to see it, because uh, it just, uh, it's just one of my favorite things. Drum rolls at first place, but I think if you think about Christmas movies, there's only one movie that can be at the top, and it's The Grinch. It's how The Grinch stole Christmas. I think there is no Christmas if you don't watch The Grinch. I watch it every year, I have the DVD, I'm so happy to watch it, even if it's an old movie and I know all the lines, it never gets old to me. There's, there are some funny parts, because the cringe is a funny character. There are some cute parts. Cindy Lou is so, so, so cute and her songs are so amazing. And there are some parts that teach you a moral, you know. And there is a little kid, again, that teaches you how to give love to different people, to people who are excluded um, on Christmas. So she is amazing. She's one of my favorite characters. She's so, so, so cute. Um, there's magic, of course. And in the end, you know, someone who's so, so bad becomes a great person. It becomes a real, like, uh, funny, nice, person and it's all because of this little kid. I love this theme, I love the theme uh, of someone just turning his life upside down and changing and being a better, a better person. So that's why I love The Grinch so, so, so much. Um, these were my top five, but I wanna add one more. Uh, didn't make the list because I don't really uh, I'm not really too much in the actor that plays it, but I think it's a great movie too. And I love the theme that's behind it, which is The Family Man. The Family Man is the story of this guy who has everything mm, material, every material thing, he has a nice car, a nice job, a nice everything. And he wakes up one morning around Christmas time and he has a wife and kids all around. Um, so it's about this what if theme that I love, love, love so much. Uh, it's one of my favorite themes in general, not only around Christmas time. And I think it's really funny because you, you can, you know, you have to make a choice, but you have the possibility to watch how your life would have been. Um, I don't know, I think it's really, really, really nice. Now watching Christmas movies, I mean, we don't have time. All we have time for is to go out and make presents for the auntie and the uncle because you don't know what to get them because you, um, you make them uh, a present, you buy them a present every year and you've been doing this for the past like 30, 40 years. So you have to run, you have to not to be like um, mm, obvious, you don't have to buy something that is too much or something that uh, is too cheap. But we don't have time to sit in our houses, just uh, uh, switch the TV on and watch and enjoy a Christmas, a Christmas movie. And I think it's one of the best ways to get into the Christmas spirit, spirit even if you're not into the Christmas spirit probably, because there are a lot of people that don't like Christmas, which is totally, totally fine to me. So list down below in the comments your top five uh, a list of the movies of the Christmas movies and let me know if you agree with me or or, or not about my about my top list or suggest me some new movies to watch uh, for um, for Christmas because 
I think I'm a little bit stuck to my childhood uh, movies. I mean, I think I saw these movies, all these movies, when I was a little kid, okay? And so let me know if there are some new movies that, are, that can actually be at, the, at, this, at this point of great movies. But um, I think most of it, it's, it's, it's due to the memories, you know, that you have with these movies and being a little kid, it just makes, makes you feel even more moved by, by, by them. But I'm open to everything, so if you have some suggestions, I will accept them very, very, very happily. Um, so, this was my top five list of movies. And this was the second day of Vlogmas, so see you tomorrow with something else and you'll see it.